Happy March and welcome back to another Mixed Media Menagerie. As you know, this is a collaboration between Laura Nicole and myself and this month we have the beautiful Jane Weston who will be accompanying us for this month's videos. You can find Jane's information down in the description box below and let's jump into the prompts. This month we're going to be working with stamping, a brayer, and rainbow colors. So let's jump into it. Hi! Hey! How you doing? This is my menagerie bin. I picked it up at the dollar store. I just love it. And every month I put our prompts in it. So we've got stamps here, my brayer, um, and then I put some stamps off to the side. And then of course my paints wouldn't all fit in there, but I've got my journal here. Um, so we'll set that off and then here is all of the ephemera goodies and you could pick up a pack from Peace Craft Love I'll have that link down in the description box below and then you also get um, a couple of other goodies in that package as well So let's open up the journal That's what we did last month and the ink kind of bled through and I've got all of these little wispies here, so I'm gonna cut those off and just get my pages prepped. As you know, this year I decided I wanted to put a border around the entire little book to make it kind of look like it was more of like a finished uh, masterpiece. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I went ahead and grabbed just an ephemera piece from that kit that I got, the menagerie kit. And I'm just gonna glue that over the top of these threads. So that way I have a nice um, smooth surface to work across and let me grab my Uhu glue stick here and then I'm going to take a couple extra pieces and glue those down as well just to kind of give it you know a little extra texture to work upon so that's what I'm doing here um, I'm kind of off screen here a little bit I apologize about that it happens a little bit throughout the video but for the most part you can see what's going on I'm going to put one up here in this corner I decided like two per page just sort of felt right for me just kind of with the flow of how it was going I had planned on I was excited that brayer was the prompt and I had planned on using the brayer for the entire process so this could be interesting but I'm also kind of excited too so now that I've got that all done I'm gonna grab these little Dina Wakely paints I thought those would be fun to use and I really like her colors and I'm just gonna get crazy with the brayer I'm gonna speed this up a little bit here but I just wanted to show you I'm gonna go over the colors and I'm gonna build them up uh, darken them lighten them and just keep going um, and see you know what I think I can create and then instead of regular rainbow colors I wanted to do a little bit slightly different and uh, kind of I don't know some of these like more uh, muted rainbows so I've got again I'll put the colors and all of the stuff that I use down in the description box below so if you're looking for that you can find it down there um, but yeah so we're just gonna start off and kind of create this funky little rainbow and as you can see I don't have a yellow but that green it's kind of like a yellowish green and I thought it could blend for both of them so again you know you can make your rainbow however you want it doesn't have to be exactly uh, you know normal rainbow colors maybe you want to make it neon or um, you know something else so anyways I'm gonna throw on some music I will check back here in a little bit but we are just gonna build up these layers <laughs> So I've got these fun Tim Holtz stamps here and they're kind of textury and I thought I wanted to just add a little bit of texture. So I've got my archival stamp pad here and I'm just gonna add a little bit of stamping around the outside edges and then bring in a black pad as well and just put some circles around here. Now, most of this will get covered up with paint because we're gonna do layers and layers, but I'm gonna continue to bring these stamps back and add uh, more interest to our background. So that's what I'm doing here and then we're gonna jump back into the paint colors to build up more layers.
camera totally shut off. You know, when you get the flow and I forgot to look up. So I added a bunch of white and I just used my brayer here again. So you can see some of those dots. I just put a dot on and then rolled the brayer over and those kind of purpley bits. That's actually that midnight blue. I think that's what it's called. Or it's like a bluish color. Um, and it turned out almost purpley. So I thought that was really fun. So I just, again, was continuing to build up the layers. And then I paused and had to go pick up my daughter from school. And while I was waiting for her, I sketched out this girl on a piece of paper and I just folded over the paper so I knew how big um, I wanted to draw her. And I got a little carried away with, you know, the shading and stuff, but I'm gonna take some of this carbon paper here um, and I'm gonna kind of line it up so that way I can put it onto my page so I can get it right where I want. I don't want her face to be in the crease at all. So I'm just gonna kind of line it up here and then I'm gonna take a pencil and just trace around the outside of it. So um, yeah, without futzing too much cause you know, I don't want you guys to be like, oh good gravy, line it up lady. Um, <laughs> I'll go ahead and trace that off camera um, but yeah, so I just have her up in the corner there and you could do this as well. I always like drawing on a separate piece of paper and then transferring it into my journal. So there we go. You can't really see her, but I'm going to take this China marker. It always makes me smile that they call it a marker. I mean, I guess it makes marks, but it's more of like an oil based pencil. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to take that and sketch around all those outside lines. It kind of gives me like a, a crayon feel. So if you didn't have a China marker, you could use a crayon. That would be lots of fun too. Um, so yeah, the, all of the texture that's in that background is giving us these really sketchy kind of looser lines and I'm loving that feel. I'm not trying to get too, too detailed right now. Uh, just give us a baseline of where everything is and then I can go through and uh, darken up as I go. And now I've got a smudger and I'm just gonna smudge a little bit. It has some leftover graphite on it. And I'm just gonna use that to give a little hint of shadowing here and there. And kind of also smudge out that grease pencil just a little bit. Um, I'm picking it up to see how I like it. And then I wanna bring that kind of orangish red more onto the face to kind of pull that rainbow across the page a little bit more. And then I'll do that with the yellow and also the green as well. And just to kind of tone down that color because it it kind of looks like she's either really sunburned or kind of bleeding there. So I'm taking a little bit of that apricot color, I think it is, or buff, um, and I'm adding that over top of it. And it's just sort of muting that down a little bit. And now I've got a Stabilo All pencil that's black just to give a little bit more shading. And I'll grab my water brush and, uh, or rather my paintbrush with a little water on it and just activate that and kind of darken some lines but also create a little bit more shading and shadowing around the face. So I'm continuing to just kind of build up those darker areas. Again, not getting too, too caught up in uh, the definition and keeping it loose, just having a little bit of fun. And I'm debating at this point, if I really, do I wanna put um, a sentiment on or do I wanna keep it like this? I don't know. I mean, it's my art journal. I could do it however I want. That's the beauty of art journaling. So it's been harder for me to jump into art 
uh, this year and the year is flying by. How is it already March? I don't even know. Um, but I wanted to push myself a little bit more and not just kind of do the same things uh, that I always do. Having said that, watch next month will be like the exact same thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to really push myself in this journal and uh, play and, you know, just bring my more artsy side out. So here I have my stamp pad again. This is a white stamp pad and then one of those Tim Holtz kind of funky stamps and I'm stamping in white. Oh, I love how this turned out because it's, you've got the stamping there and some extra, um, you know, little bits for your eye to oogle around the page, but it's very, very subtle. So it gives interest to the background without taking away from the colors and our portrait. And I'm just kind of going around the page and deciding if I want to add a little bit more. I didn't really like where that X was, so I took it off. And I'm debating, do I want to put a sentiment or do I just want to leave it plain like this? I'm sort of digging that plain vibe. And while I'm drawing, I want to remind you to use that hashtag over on Instagram. And then if you create a video here as well, those hashtags will enter you into our kind of hop along, tag along, so everybody can see your videos or check out your artwork using that hashtag. So make sure you do that. I am so excited to see how everybody uh, interprets the prompts this month. Um, yeah. And jumping right back in, we're just gonna go ahead and my favorite part, the finishing piece is pulling off that tape. Oh, it's just gives it that totally finished feel. And here we go. Let me just push it up there for you guys to see. Boom, she is done and complete. I'm really happy with how the spread turned out. It was a little touch and go there at the beginning where I was thinking, what am I doing? But pushing through that ugly stages and we came out on top. We've got all this fun texture layering within the background here. We've got some X's and the circles um, and the really scribbly lines, which is lots of fun. Tons and tons of texture from those built up colors. Um, we've got the really loose, scratchy feel, that kind of crayon. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just really happy with how this one turned out. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. It's always such a joy to get into the studio and paint with you. Um, so thank you for that. Lots of love going out to you all. Stay safe, stay happy, uh, sending energy and joy. And don't forget to check those links down in the description box below. And until next time, happy creating.